that. So good. Five years later. Good morning guys. Mm -hmm. I always feel like I need to go like this and then I go <laughs> dark. We are off to go scuba diving today. And it's all nice outside now. Maharalo. We're at Koala Ranch. We're at Koala Ranch. I hope we're saying it right because we don't know how to pronounce it. And because we're in Hawaii, we can't come here and not surf. What else should I tell you? Steven is right now editing all our footage that we got today. Yes. All right, looking pretty good now. All right. Oh, you want to get Welcome back to Hawaii, five years later. Am I gonna cry? I'm so busy. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> oh, Jess, are you all right? What's wrong? <laughs> because every time I keep thinking about being back here, I'm oh. really embarrassed. <laughs> oh, Jess. Give me a hug. I even felt like I was going to cry when I got off the plane today. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know why I feel so emotional being back here. Oh, it's really hot in here now. <laughs> 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 I think I was thinking about what I should say. And then I. Oh, I don't know why. You okay? Oh, I don't like seeing you No, I keep thinking, like, I keep feeling really emotional being back here. Is it because this is where flying the nest started? Maybe it's just pregnancy hormones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I even felt emotional at the airport, but I didn't want to say anything because then I knew I would start crying at the airport. Oh, this is cool that we came back here. I feel like I look like a mess. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. Oh, I feel like people don't even understand why I'm upset. Well, not upset. It's happy tears. It's happy tears. It is so cool. You can explain because I was going to try it and I just cried. Oh, I didn't expect that. Um, <laughs> five years ago, this Oahu is kind of where flying the nest started. I mean, that's when we'd like quit our jobs, sold everything, and then booked a one-way flight. And this was the very first stop, almost exactly five years to the date. It's the yeah. 17th of Feb, and I think we came out like, we were here at least on this date five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just cool to be back, because it's where Flying the Nest started. It also feels like this is like the, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> no, I was just saying how like it feels like this is like kind of the end of the chapter and the start of a new, a chapter. new chapter coming up soon. And so it just felt like I didn't even think I was going to feel emotional until I landed here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're back here. And it's like the first, I don't know. I'm not very good at explaining it. <laughs> is it because it's like the first stop that we started on? Mm. And then it was the first place that we ever filmed. And I think it's just so funny when you look back on those videos because we were here for two weeks. And we filmed a video every single day and then that's when I was, I just remember being like so scared of what we were doing and we had just like quit everything to go traveling and to start these videos and it's so funny when you watch back on them because they're just like these like five minute crappy <laughs> little videos of just what we were doing and we just would get excited over anything. Like I remember when we went and we had like the first ever time we went out and had like a veggie burger at a restaurant because they weren't even that popular back then. And it was the Is Cheesecake it so Factory. Random? It wasn't yeah, at the che <laughs> And I was so excited to go and eat at the Cheesecake Factory. Or do you remember the first time we went to Walmart? And I was, was like, so oh my excited. gosh, we're in Walmart. And they were like, oh, the veggies are really crap here. And so then we went, <laughs> do you remember? So then we went to Whole Foods. And then we were like, oh my gosh, this is Trader so Jones. cool. Or Trader and, Joe's. And we had the vegan cookies. And, they were and the we just thought it was so cool. Could. Like, those are the memories of Hawaii. Even though we did so much more. Like, while we were there, we went surfing we went diving down in a submarine scuba diving we went to a luau we but like the main and... things for me is like remembering like the crappy little airbnb we stayed at and the first night when we arrived we had no food and we were so hungry and it was midnight and then we looked in the cupboards and we found a random old pack of pop microwave popcorn oh, it was left over from the previous airbnb and then we just popped it and ate that for dinner because we couldn't afford to like we didn't want to waste all our money and go out and eat. Plus it was midnight and so we ate an old bag of microwave popcorn. 
I know it's like all these little memories and you're like that's so crazy that's like five years later we could come back here and afford a flight here and like we've been able to travel now for five years and I feel like all this talking and I just look crazy oh you look beautiful <laughs> and of course and now we're about to like have a baby so I just feel like it's I don't know I just felt emotional the moment I got in I didn't even think <laughs> I was going to I thought you'd hurt yourself <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. know why but anyway it's exciting yeah. that we're back <laughs> but I'm excited that we're back and we're here for 48 hours this is like what I was planning to try to say. <laughs> My job was to tell you guys that we are here for 48 hours and we're very excited to go and um, See enjoy you the <laughs> and enjoy the island and um, find cool places to eat yeah, and hopefully uh, find some turtles. Yeah. And we want to go swim with some dolphins and enjoy our last few days here in Hawaii because then we have to go home because I have a midwife appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so cool. Oh, <laughs> All righty, before we go exploring anymore, we need to get a little bit more sunshine in Jess. So I found a little spot for her. What were you saying? I said I need to get you some sunshine. And in the bowl. I... <laughs> here comes the sunshine, here comes the daylight, here comes the sunshine, here comes the blue skies. I, I couldn't think sunshine. of a sign that sums up Hawaii any more than this one right here. Little bowl of sunshine. That looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> better now. Oh good. Well Jess goes and has her uh, water moment. Honestly if you come to Oahu and you rent a car and come up to the North Shore you can't come here and not go to a beach. We've come up to a super popular one and it's funny because you can't actually swim here but there's a lot of sea turtles so it is still quite packed and people are just sunbathing looking out for turtles so we're on the hunt to see if we can see one. But it's always cool to see turtles. I still can't get over that this is winter right now in Hawaii. That's cool, we're just walking back to our car and there's a little sea turtle that's come out to do some sunbathing. So cool seeing them everywhere here in Hawaii. yesterday. Everything I did took your breath away Now you're falling in love, falling in love just like we did So we've decided to head to the North Shore of Oahu and this is the place to come if you're looking for a good surf and a good place to eat. There are so many amazing lunch spots here but we've heard that there's one food truck in particular that we really, really have to try. This is the car you want to rent in Hawaii, and I don't know how they scored this number plate. Live Aloha. Now we aren't recommending you guys eat at the McDonald's, even though it is so old school and just looks like it's straight out of the 50s. But just across the road, you'll find a car park filled with food trucks. guys let us know which food truck you think we are wanting to line up at oh my goodness look at that line and there's just right at the back I don't think we've ever been to such a busy food truck like it is crazy they say that what they do is they give you numbers and they go 1 to 50 and then they start again so I think at the moment they're up to number 30 yeah it was we're 30. 10 so we have to wait for them to get up to 50 and then start again. That is wild. This better be the best shrimp I have ever had. Better be. Mm -hmm. Find me what you want and I'll get it and I'll bring it to the table. Watermelon mojito. What, Try let's it. Let's go see what they got. Because they were just <laughs> so busy over there. We found Jack's. We found Max Crafted Drinks. 
like watermelon, mint and lime. Ooh, that is so good. But I cannot wait to see what the fuss is about. Look at this, so you get 12 big old shrimps covered in garlic and butter and then two scoops of rice. And it's just on like this party Paper plate. plate. Ready? It's how street food should be and it wasn't honestly that long of a wait for such a line. No, I reckon we waited maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, I think? guess I was thinking 20 minutes. Oh, they're hot. They look good. Does Giovanni's do it good? It's very good, wow. Have some rice with that. <laughs> he thinks it's good. It's really good. It's cool as well because I saw a lot of locals there ordering as well. So it's like I feel like it's a bunch of tourists and a bunch of locals, which you always know is going to be a good spot then. But I think it's like the busiest food truck we've ever been to. And also, we definitely recommend trying to bring a pen when you come because you can actually write your name on the food truck. So we wrote our name on there. So try and find it if you do come. Definitely recommend checking this place out. Guys, right in front of us is an area called Koala Ranch and they filmed Jurassic Park here, 50 First Dates. If there's one thing I recommend you do in all of Oahu, do a tour here. It is the most beautiful spot in all of Hawaii. And when we did it, remember, we went horseback riding and yeah. you can do ATVing. It is such an awesome spot. Do it, seriously, do it. So after driving around the entire island, that pretty much was our plan today because we knew we couldn't check in until this afternoon. So we just picked up our rental car and went all around and it was amazing. That's exactly what we wanted to do today, but... We have just checked into our hotel. We're staying right here in Waikiki at Alohalani Resort. And this room is absolutely beautiful. Like if you are looking for a place to stay that gives you complete beach vibes, yeah. island vibes, Hawaii vibes, this is the place. Look at this. Like this is a high rise building. We're 16 floors up. I think we're on one of the top floors of the whole building. And it is a complete like little beach hut, don't you think? It this has that vibe. beachy room, absolutely so pretty. But I do think the selling point is the balcony because the beach is right in front of our balcony. And it's like maybe, I don't know, almost six and I feel like we're gonna have an epic sunset. You see all the surfers out there? Look at this. This really gives you a really good view of Waikiki. Yeah. Wow. That is so beautiful. This is where we're gonna be spending like the rest of the day. Well, actually, I kind of want to go check out the pool, to be honest. That's the goal, is let's check out the pool. Let's check out the beach. Yeah. And I feel like we're just here to enjoy our last few moments here in Hawaii. Soon we'll be where you breathe and raise the back. Don't tell me to call. Sunset was so epic. I am so thankful we are staying here. I mean that view is the perfect Waikiki view that you come for. It's our final day here in Hawaii and I really don't want to leave but we just had the most amazing sleep and then woken up and come to an area of the hotel called the Longboard Club and for breakfast here they have an acai bowl station. So help yourself make your own acai bowl. I was very excited about it. So that is our breakfast today. And then we're gonna to go to another area called Swell. And that is where they have an epic pool overlooking the water. That is how we're gonna start our day today. Our final day. I'm just excited that I get to make my own my stylus eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> extra granola, extra fruit. Extra, extra granola. granola. <laughs> Simple. 
the water slide that's my new favorite thing we just had the most epic day so remember when we were in the big island and I made us go and hire kayaks because I was on the hunt for dolphins well it kind of failed and seeing as it was our last day here in Hawaii I was like okay Steve we have one more shot let's go look for dolphins wow <laughs> we saw I'm thinking and this isn't even over exaggerating like 30 to 40 a pod of dolphins were just swimming around oh my gosh kept checking us out which was kind of cool they were Amazing. spinner dolphins so much fun they, they were like be. jumping out of the water and spinning in circles and jumping back down like one of the best dolphin experiences we've had it was really magical kind of end to our to, Hawaii trip and not no more the, tears as well yeah I loved it it was such an amazing trip I'm so glad we actually did come back to Oahu and we now, I guess this is like the end of our little baby moon that we've been having because I have to go home. She has a midwife appointment. And next week I'll be going into my third trimester. So I feel like things are getting real. That went so quick. I know. And we still haven't bought anything. We don't have a crib. We don't have a stroller. We have a cup. We have, a, a, we have some swimmers. Well, that's all you need. <laughs> You guys will have to let us know if there's anything we need to get. Over yeah, the, what do we over need? The next, I mean, what? She can be, she can go for a swim and that's about it. Well, that's good because you've been taking her for swims. And someone left yeah. a comment saying, wives tale, if you swim a lot, maybe the baby girl will enjoy swimming. And you know so. we're just going to take her on these little beach holidays. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little baby moon series. Let us know what was your favorite bit, whether it was Fiji, a road trip through the Sunshine Coast, all the islands here in Hawaii but make sure you hit subscribe because we still have some fun videos for you guys we're not we're not stopping traveling just yet so hit subscribe give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time bye